Here's everything you're going to need to put together your camera. Black and white non-glossy photo paper. Check an art or photo store. Cans of something delicious. Good old duct tape. Some heavy duty aluminum foil. Clear tape. Flat black spray paint. A fine point sewing needle. Some fine grit sandpaper. Finally, some heavy duty kitchen shears. First, you need to empty a can. We prefer to drink it, but that's up to you. Just don't get too excited. Next, you need to carefully cut the top of the can off using a pair of kitchen shears. If you end up with some rough edges, you can just trim those down later. Then give it a good rinse and dry. Then we're going to make our pinhole. Using a fine sewing needle, just barely pierce through the halfway point of the can. This is the first key step to getting a good image at the other end. The smaller the hole, the better the resolution of your image. It should be really small, no more than about half a millimeter, so take your time. Next, we need to sand the inside of the pinhole. Using fine grit sandpaper, make sure there's no rough edges. Now paint the inside of the can with flat black spray paint. Now it's time to load the photo paper, sensitive side up. This is another important step. We don't have to be quite as careful as a normal darkroom, but do this in a very dim room like a closet or with a photo safe light if you've got one. We kept the lights on just to demonstrate. You need to cover the pinhole with tape from this point on. A 5x7 sheet of photo paper fits a tall can perfectly. Make sure to practice with plain paper if you need to cut it to fit your container. Roll the paper to insert it and tape it down to keep it still. Just make sure you leave a gap around the pinhole. Although we're going to duct tape the bejesus out of this thing, we need to put a foil cap on top to help keep water and light out. Just like so. This thing's going to be out in the elements for like six months, so tape it, tape it, and then tape it some more. Just don't cover up your pinhole. Alright guys, that's it. Get cracking. We'll be back in a couple of days with a video to show you how to mount these cameras to get the best results. But in the meantime, keep telling your friends, keep sharing, and keep following the blog. We'll see you soon.